I just can't seem to get out of town here, get out of Dodge. <laughs> My plane doesn't leave for a few hours, so I'm going to give you another video here because I will be gone for so long. So who knows what's going to end up happening? Right. So last night I uploaded a video called Are Celebrities Free Game or Is It Exploitation? And it was about a medium. My notes are gone now. Sloan, I think is her name. And she was, she channels celebrities and all that kind of stuff. And so in my video, I, I think quite eloquently, of course, well, I was pitching the idea that just because they're celebrities doesn't mean that they aren't human and people love them. And, you know, they're not free game, you know, pretending that they're pretending that you're talking to them after dead. is just exploitation as well. So I uploaded the video and one of the members of my uh, girl of skeptic team, she sent me a video of Wolfgang. Well, she, she sent me an article about Wolfgang von Van Halen. And uh, as you guys may or may not know, Eddie Van Halen died of cancer, I believe at the age of 65, a couple of years ago. And he, he was a celebrity married to Valley Bertinelli for a long time. And they had one child and they named him Wolfgang. They call him Wolf. So what happened is after Eddie Van Halen died, this channel, oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> This channel is called Channeling Eric or Eric Channeling or something like that. And it's E-R-I-K said that they were doing, a, you know, that they were channeling Eddie Van Halen and Wolf Van Halen got a hold of it and was really upset. And I can't blame him, especially since it was right after the death of his father. And it, it, it really was ugly. And, and it brings home to what it's, you know that these are real people who have lives and and the trolling and the the just the meanness that gets to be on on social media is incredible i mean just because you're in front of a a camera and you're trying to talk about something or you're on a stage and you're um you know a guitarist or making music or reading poetry or whatever it is you're doing um why why does it mean that people on the internet get to talk about what you look like what you sound like and and so on i mean it's just cruel what kind of people are there out there wow so anyway i was gonna tell you the tell you about this and i'll put the links in the description of the video because i won't be going to show a lot of screenshots and stuff i can't i don't have time to do a lot of editing today so i guess what happened is this video channel so eddie van halen dies and this video channel puts out this video saying that they're talking to Eddie Van Halen, I guess about animals and stuff. I don't know what, no, Wolfgang Van, Van Halen is quite saucy with his language and I'm probably not going to be as saucy. I'm just going to let you, I'll link to it and you can read about it yourself. So this is one way of dealing with it is calling him out on Twitter. Well, it was Twitter at the time and all of the fans of, of, um, Eddie Van Halen and all the the followers of Wolf Van Halen descend on the psychic and the channel and they're pissed and no kidding, you know. So let me read some of this to you. So channeling Eric, E-R-I-K. Um, he claims to have an afterlife interview. This is May 1st, I think 2020 or 20, 2021, May 1st, 2021. So he puts up this, this channel called Channeling Eric, claims to have an afterlife interview with Eddie Van Halen. Two women appear in video talking back and forth, and one woman is asking Eddie questions while the other gives answers, claiming to be in contact. So Wolf Van Halen responds. He says, you people are bat shit effing crazy. F this and F you. He tells his followers that they should unfollow, unfollow him if they believe any of the so-called psychics had to say. If you follow me and believe my father visited some psychic YouTuber B, I, you know what, from the afterlife to talk about if he liked animals or not, please unfollow me and seek medical attention. <laughs> and there is a 34 minute interview. Um, it's gone. So that's gone. 
So Wolfgang Van Halen and other Van Halen fans on social media were offended by the video. They cite it as have not having respect for the dead, making money off the backs of others. And they might have a point there. The ability to read people's minds and predict the future are not exactly skills that are proven, proven abilities. No kidding. Yet research has shown that many people genuinely believe in the existence of psychic powers. Absolutely true. Many people believe in the existence of psychic powers does not mean it is true. It just means many people have been fooled into believing psychic powers for whatever reason, from their uh, upbringing, from their religious beliefs, from not having great critical thinking skills to lots of reasons people believe it. Um, okay. So according to this interview, this is called, this is an outsider. Furthermore, there have been numerous proven examples of psychic fraud over the years. As a result, Wolfgang Van Halen is urging his fans not to believe. Instead, he offered up some other ways for people to spend their time on YouTube. There are much better things to watch on YouTube. He says, posting a number of links to random videos. So what I'm saying is that there is way better shit to watch on YouTube than some dummy pretending she's a psychic. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Let's see if I can see who the author of this article is. Nope, doesn't say. But I will put a link to it in the description if you want to look at it. And then I went over to Twitter and or whatever it's called today. And I was looking at the um, thread of what Van Halen, uh, Wolf Van Halen put up. And yep, there it is. So this video was put up apparently by Elisa Metas. E-L-I-S-A. The last name is M-E-D-H-U-S. And it's at Channeling Eric. E-R-I-K. It was put up May 1st, 2021. And the tweet that she put out was called, find more about Eddie Van Halen's life and his crossing into the afterlife. And then she put a link to the video and that video is gone. So <laughs> it's just pretty funny because mm -hmm. Eddie Van Halen, all, on the same day this thing came out, which is funny because he got news of this on the same day. He says, you people are batshit fucking crazy. <laughs> wow. So that's great. So people started all these fans of uh, Eddie Van Halen and, and um, Wolf Van Halen were posting and saying, you know, hey, hey, don't do this. This is this is bad. And then they went over to the YouTube, to the uh, channel. This channel, it, Channeling Eric. She says she's a physician, author, blogger, and mother of five. She has 2,000 followers. So she was descended on in mass by Van Halen followers. And they were saying, no, stop it. Another one says, take this down. Stop writing the backs of others for money and sick notoriety and think of the families. Um, okay. So here's somebody else. Okay, so channeling Eric is... I don't think I can sum this up quickly, but I'll try. Um, I should have somebody on the somebody on this uh, my YouTube channel to explain channeling Eric in more detail because there are people who are experts at this one psychic thing. So this guy named Eric dies. His mother decides that she wants to be in contact with her son. I think he was a teenager or maybe in his early twenties. And what happened is she found a psychic who would channel her son and <clears throat> the mother is very wealthy. She's a doctor and she is in deep grief, which is a uh, complicated grief, very, very difficult grief, unable, completely unable to move on and is buying completely into the world of the psychic mediums. From what I understand, and I'm sure I'll be corrected on this, but the medium who started channeling Eric, I guess, is making a lot of money off the mom. And then other mediums start channeling Eric also. And because more and more and more information is coming out about the mother, the doctor, as well as Eric's life, then everything that um, the mother is hearing is factual because 
you know, the mother is so desperate to be in touch with her son. And we know what a motivated sitter is like. She starts giving information and saying, oh my gosh, you know, on his vacation and he had a dog named this. And, you know, of course she's, she's giving more information to the psychics and the psychics are just piling on her because, and they're saying, oh no, I've got the valid Eric here because, and they, and they're able to validate what Eric is saying because there's so much content out about it. It's just like a feeding frenzy on this poor mother. And then I believe the mother decides she has ability to channel her son, her brother, her son as well, Eric. And then what happens is now Eric is in touch with all these celebrities and all these other people. So now they can do readings and say, Eric is the guide on the other side. And Eric is able to um, contact, well, like Eddie Van Halen and so on and tell, tell everybody what Eddie's up to. So it's really sick. I mean, it's very sick. And you can see just from my my quick description of what's going on, how vulnerable the mother is and how how easy she is to be preyed on, even though now she is a practicing medium dealing with herself. It's, she's able to save a lot of money because they're charging a lot of money to give her readings because she has a lot of money and she has other children and a husband and... um. You know, there's a lot of talk about, I mean, should we have mom committed? You know, she's a medical doctor. How how do you be a medical doctor and and believe this and accept science and, and so on and be a healthy, you know, scientific doctor and so on? Anyway, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to have to have somebody on the channel to explain what's going on over there. But so this is the channel that decided they were going to have a interview with Eddie Van Halen. It was pretty, pretty sick. So somebody does, so going to finish this up here, somebody says, I'm sorry, you lost your son. They're talking to the mother of Eric. I get wanting to think you have some sort of connection with him and the deceased that nobody else does. I get it. But when you start claims of speaking to others besides your son, you've crossed a line. Your delusion is now hurting others. That's really well said. Let me give it a like. <laughs> and um, other people say disgusting. Another one says this is shameful. What is wrong with you? Um, another one says take this down and get some morals. Another one says take this is disrespectful to Eddie and his family. Please take it down. Another one says anything for a lousy buck, huh? Um, another one says nice job disrespecting the dead another one says enjoy the lawsuit another one says how wow your psychic powers didn't alert you to the van halen size backlash did it and another says please take this down as ridiculous if he's going to talk to somebody it sure would not be you i hope you did not make any money off of this because this is bs so on and on and on and on. And the video was taken down. So Wolf Van Halen didn't have to file a suit because she took it down. But this is common. I mean, after Michael Jackson died, I remember Mark Edward was writing a blog for Skeptic Blog. The blogs are still out there somewhere. And there was psychics who were saying, I am the medium for Michael Jackson. You know, I'm I'm the true medium that he's in communication with. And another psychic comes in and says, uh-uh, Michael Jackson's in communication with me. I am the true medium that is talking to Michael Jackson. And then uh, Mark Edward was, you know, like, okay, well, who is it? You know, him or her or what, you know? And then other mediums were like, no, Michael Jackson's talking to me. I'm the only person he can talk to. And this kind of, it's just trying to make a buck off him, trying to get your fame, right? And Princess Diana, I guess it happens to every psych, uh, every famous person and everything of, it, it, it's just sick right so the people who are saying that they're in contact with these celebrities i mean the celebrities lives are pretty open so it's pretty easy to validate it and say i'm getting some validation from it i mean heck tyler henry does the same stuff it really pisses me off i mean he's been in contact with all sorts of people he says just oh my gosh it just it, it hurts it, it really hurts because these pe people are celebrities they don't deserve it. Their families do not deserve this nonsense. I mean, come on now, have some self-respect, have some integrity. And, uh, you know, 
just trying to write off the backs of this person's death and their fame. And it's just sick. It really is sick. It doesn't matter if they're celebrities or not. You have no business, no business whatsoever. Getting into people's lives and messing around like this. It's just, there's, there's no law. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's, um, uh, there's nothing to keep you from doing it, but you know, Wolf Van Halen probably isn't going to do anything about it, nor is Valerie Bertinelli. They're probably not going to do it, but if they get their, their fans involved, then it gets really ugly. And so, you know, we really don't want to be involved in that kind of world, but you know, what are you supposed to do? You're protecting your father's reputation. It hurts. It hurts a lot. And to have somebody talking crap about your family member who's died, who can't protect themselves. You know, it's, if this is where you're going, is this your, if you're doing this kind of stuff and you're one of these grief vampires that, you know, I call out on my channel, right? We know what kind of person you are if you're doing that kind of thing. And that goes to Tyler Henry too. Yeah, Tyler. Tater tot, Tyler Henry, we call him. Operation Tater Tot. You can check it out. So I'll put the links in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy. I thought it was interesting to see um, somebody somebody take on the the psychic. Fascinating stuff. I wish there was more we could do about it, you know, but we can try. That's it. Education. That's about all we got.